Hey everyone, it's The Cruiser. An embarkation day is always exciting, but sometimes it can be a crazy day with so many things to do and see. These are five things you're going to want to make sure to avoid on the first day of your cruise. The last mistake is the best to avoid, so make sure to stick around to number five. So number one, slow down on the beverage package. Trying to make that beverage package pay for itself on the first day. I can't tell you how many times there have been people hitting it extremely hard and drinking heavily that first day. They have then been seen in the afternoon on the second day, and it looks like someone hit him with a sledgehammer. So just pace yourself because you don't know how your body, especially if you're not a seasoned cruiser, is going to react to all that alcohol, and the movement of the ship seems to just amplify it. So people are not only drunk or hungover, but they're seasick also, and it's a bad combination. There was a lady in the Odyssey of the Seas who got so drunk she passed out in the women's bathroom and hit her head. She got removed from the ship due to her drinking. Can you imagine drinking so much that you ruined your cruise, all that time that you spent and researched and spent all that money, and you got taken off the ship before you even got started? So just understand to pace yourself, you have all week to pay for that beverage package. So number two, avoid the buffet. Never go directly to the buffet when you board the ship. Now it does depend on what time you board the ship. 10.30 to 11 o'clock in the morning, you're probably okay, but understand at 11.30 to 1.30 o'clock, no one can get into their cabins yet. So the buffet is filled with a bunch of suitcases, a bunch of people waiting around to get into their cabins, and they just continually go up to eat and you're running into people and it's crowded, it can be a mess. So I suggest trying some alternatives. Number three, don't miss the ship. This should go without saying, but unfortunately, it doesn't because people don't pre-plan. I can't tell you how many people fly at 10 to even 12 o'clock on the day of their cruise. Don't put yourself in this position because anything can happen. You can get stuck in traffic on your way to the ship from the airport, or your flight can even get canceled. It's not worth the anxiety. So either fly in really early the day of your cruise, or better yet, fly in the night before. Just avoid that anxiety and make sure you're on that ship sailing away with that drink in hand, waving goodbye to everyone. So number four, avoid the sunburn. You do everything right, you make sure to bring your carry-on, you bring your swimsuit, bring your flip-flops, you're out enjoying the Florida sun by the pool on that first day of your cruise. But you forget to put on sunscreen and you're miserable day two, three, potentially even day four. Trust me on this, make sure to have a hat and make sure to bring some sunscreen. Don't ruin your cruise, especially the first two or three days, because you get a sunburn because you forgot your sunscreen. So number five, don't push yourself too much and try to do everything your first day of your cruise. Many people have even got sick. They pushed themselves, they stayed up till one in the morning. They were so excited about everything going on in their cruise ship. They didn't allow for some downtime. Now, one thing I will suggest is maybe pre-planning a couple activities. So if you're on like a Royal Caribbean Oasis class ship, you may want to try doing the zip line the first day or the rock climbing wall. The reason why I say this a lot of times is that first day, those lines are kind of small. There are a lot of people checking out the ship and doing other things. Now, in order to do that, you're going to need to make sure you have closed toed shoes. So make sure you have those so you can get on those activities. That was it guys. Let me know in the comments a thing you like to avoid on your cruise. I appreciate you guys watching. Happy cruising until I see you next time.